we've been friends for almost 10 years. We're with each other all the time, whether we're working or just being crazy. We love being together. It's got to the point where we're not just friends, we're like fake. We laugh, we love, we cry, we laugh some more. As we go through the ups and downs, no matter where life's roller coaster takes us, we know we'll get through it together. And along the way, we've met some amazing people. Shauna! Keely met Shauna through an ex. Yeah, and at first she hated me. Well, she thought you were loud and obnoxious. I am! <laughs> anyway, Shauna is a good time girl who loves fashion and is always there whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a wingman at the club. Which is where Joey comes in. Shauna introduced us to Mr. J. Ryan a few years back. He's got his hands into every aspect of the LA scene. Promoter, publicist, and self-proclaimed socialite, Joey is all about being seen and making that money. Gucci! The baby of the group is Asia. This little dancer from the valley is young, full of life, and brings a positive light to... Everything. I know, right? God, yes. But she's our little sunshine, and we love it. Each week, the five of us meet for dinner to talk life, love, and everything in between. We don't always agree. Nope, no we do not. <laughs> but we always tell the truth. This is Dinner with Friends. Hey guys, and welcome to the special edition of Dinner with Friends. Now, what's so awesome about this episode is that all of your questions will be answered. All your write-ins, all of your tweets, all of your blog entries, they're all gonna get answered. You don't have to wait each week to see if your question gets answered. Nope, we're gonna do it right now. So, check it out. Hey guys, I'm 18 years old and I need your advice. I have a best friend and she's dating a guy who is horrible and he abuses her emotionally, mentally, and sometimes even physically. She will not leave this beep alone. It hurts me to see her hurt so much and that she won't leave him and it doesn't seem like anyone that she loves can do anything about it. So in my situation as her best friend, what would you do in my shoes? I don't feel like I can just sit back and watch him destroy her mentally and physically. I don't think you should sit back and watch it. You should say something to him. I don't know if you're afraid of him or something, but I would check him. I would pull him to the side and be like, yo, 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 my dude, here's the thing. I see what you're doing. And if it goes on, then I'm gonna have to whoop your ass. So there you go. Dear friends, I recently came out as a bisexual to a select few of my friends, but not my family. Long story short, they're pretty homophobic. One of my female friends, who is also bisexual, admitted to having feelings for me. We get along easily and have similar senses of humor and music, but don't exactly know too much about each other beyond those things. I'm afraid that I might have feelings for her as well, and I'll have to tell my family and friends that don't know I'm bisexual yet. This isn't something that I can ignore, and I think we will be in a relationship at one point or another. I haven't told many people, and I didn't think it was that important up until now. What should I do? I believe that you should come out when you're ready to come out. If you're feeling the girl that you're talking to because you guys have similarities, then I definitely feel like that you should talk to that girl and get to know her. But as far as your family goes, come out when you're ready to. So Emily writes, I've been with my boyfriend for almost a year now, nine months to be exact. But a couple of months ago, we've just been fighting constantly. There would be times where I, I would come over, we fight, he kicked me out, I leave, he calls to apologize, we start over again, and the cycle repeats itself. I must be a glutton for punishment. Have you ever all had any relationship that you felt you've worked so hard at and that you just can't seem to give up on? So I would really get out of that relationship because you don't need to fight with anyone. There's somebody out there that's going to love you more than anything and not ever, ever, ever want to see you upset and fight with you. JT from Los Angeles writes in and he wants to know what he should do if he's in love with someone who avoids the subject of their feelings at all times. He thinks he feels the same way, but the guy's never been in a relationship before and so he's not sure if he's scared or what's going on. He wants to know what he should do. JT, that's an excuse that he's making to not, yeah, yeah baby. Mm -mm. He's just making excuses, it's fine. I don't want to really tell you that he really doesn't like you, but I don't think he does. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Ouch. I only told you that it's because I know you, and I know I can tell you that, so just palm them. Okay? Alright, JT, I love you. You got it. Sky from Atlanta writes, My boyfriend has a lot of female friends. I'm not comfortable with it, but I still don't want to seem insecure or jealous. 
I want him to have his own share of friends. How can I keep myself from feeling uncomfortable and yet still be cool with his friends? Okay, unless all of these female friends are lesbians, there is no possible way that he is not having sex with one or all of them. I'm, I, I'm sorry, just come on. Like, what kind of straight guy just hangs out with a bunch of chicks all the time It's super cool? No, you don't see that happening. It doesn't happen. He's doing something super duper shady, and he's trying to pretend like they're just friends so that he can keep you happy. Diss him, dump him, pay him, dust. Anonymous. My friend told me my boyfriend was cheating on me with a friend from school. I've never seen them talk and I've never seen them do any text messages. Should I confront him about it or should I just wait until I actually see something happen between them? I'm going to start this answer with a question. How close are you to your friend? If it is one of your very best friends, like if it were Keely for me, that guy would be gone so fast because there's nothing in the world that would make her want to upset me. Now, if she's kind of a sidebar friend, you might want to take that into consideration. Um, honestly, you have to ask him point blank. I would actually, if your friend knows who he might have cheated on you with, have her call him and be on three-way. That's the best way I think you can get over this. Um, I definitely don't think you should just wait it out. You should definitely take action because that's probably the easiest way to either stay in this relationship, make it work, or get out as fast as you can. Anonymous asks, do you guys have any thoughts on the Casey Anthony trial? Casey, you better hide because I am coming for you. In a court of law, you may have been acquitted, but bitch, in the court of Keeley's opinion, you are guilty as sin. So don't let me see you on the street, girl, because I will bop you. Bop you. Behind the scenes, take one. Go. Oh. Dear friends. <laughs> Anonymous asks, do you guys have any thoughts on the Casey Anthony trial and the death threat threats that the <laughs> The new Ray Bands. That's what they are. Now you see it, now you don't. Now you see it, now you don't. Now you see it, now you don't. I have no comment. Next. Anonymous asks, do you guys have any thoughts on the Casey Anthony trial? The death threat that the jurors have gotten, and if you do. The jurors have gotten, and if you could give Casey advice now that she is about to. Not the relations question, we're not doing the relations question. I like board relations. Anonymous asks, do you guys have any thoughts about the Casey Anthony trial and the death threat starts? <laughs> <laughs> okay, just, do you have any thoughts about the Casey Anthony trial? Boom. They're just really strict by nature and judgmental. Since jump. <laughs> <laughs> you know so badly, Joey wants to be like, ah, ah. <laughs> This is what I suggest you do. You grab a bunch of Muslims and you scare the shit out of the boyfriend. You, you can use every okay. except for the nation of Islam. All right. <laughs> but I have North, North, North. <laughs> <laughs> she will not leave this asshole alone. It hurts me to see that she is hurt, but she won't leave. And there doesn't seem to be anything that people who really love her can do about it. So, in my situation, it's her best friend. What do you want? Do you do? Come on, Joey, read it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I've never <laughs> met a guy who has <laughs> like. <Sorry>. You know. <laughs> Friends. My parents aren't really a big. Nope. One more time. Go. We started. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay.